Evan Nicholson with Green Thumb Lawn Care here. We are at a customer's house. We're just going to call KM, potential customer. We just collected some soil samples. Get those bagged up and shipped off to the lab. Figure out what we're working with here in the soil. It is very rocky, the soil. Of course, I believe most of Kingston is. But that's okay. We can work with that. All right, the front lawn looks pretty good here. It's pretty well established in the center and along the up against the house. Um, we've got some dieback from the road, probably just from the heat of last summer. Baked that fescue. <clears throat> it's kind of a common thing we see um, if there's no irrigation. And I haven't seen any irrigation heads here yet, but I could have just missed them. <clears throat> and the further we get away from this front lawn, we get into just more of a mixed lawn. We've got some Bermuda seen some nimble wheel uh, quite a few uh, weeds kind of start getting in the further we go back but that's okay the stuff we can handle and the Bermuda we'll talk about an option for that in a minute um, I do have one question though uh, where is the line on this side um, I'll take the measurement going lengthwise here and most of the width I'll just take a guessing point and if you'll just let me know you know based off of those rocks or those trees just kind of where your property line is here and that way I can get an accurate measurement of how large this lawn is. Okay, so we go around the side here. <clears throat> and we're still doing pretty good here. We're still doing pretty good. Uh, there's some some Poetriv, Poetrivialis here. Rough stock bluegrass coming in under that tree. That's something that comes back every year. Um, it's, it's a little bit of a difficult one to, to control, but we try to just seed in those areas so thick that we outcompete it with, with tall fescue. Um, that's, that's usually the best recommendation, and if that doesn't work, we have a couple other options that we can explore in the following seasons. Uh, then we get over here, uh, you see a lot of these little yellow bunches. It's Poa annua, annual bluegrass. Looks like you've had it for a few years here, judging by the size of these patches. That's another one we really just try to crowd it out, crowd it out and get the, the fescue around it so healthy that uh, we don't need to plant the following season and we can come through and put a pre-emergent down if necessary. If we can't just smother it out with healthy fescue, we can put a pre-emergent down in the winter or in the fall so that it won't come up next winter, stop that life cycle and take control of it that way. All right, then the further we get back into here, we get more and more mixed grasses. Um, there's maybe some Kentucky 31 in here mixed with tall fescue. I've even seen some fine fescue in here. Um, and a few weeds close to the house, not too many. <clears throat> Those are, these are all easily controllable. But we do have some, some Bermuda coming in here. I'm sure there's probably these little bunches die back for you every year probably looks real good in the summer but in the winter it browns out so there are a couple of options that we can do to control that if it's nimble wheel I have to wait till it comes in a little bit more to be able to tell but if it's nimble wheel it's a little bit easier to control shouldn't be an option if it's Bermuda there are two options on the market right now one's a little bit longer process uh, but you don't have to really really kill everything around it you can just treat it with a certain product, water it in really, really good, and over a few seasons, it will slowly be suppressed and suppressed and suppressed, and then finally, we can get rid of it. But that does take a few seasons, quite a few treatments, um, but that's some customers prefer to do that rather than to kill it and have a big dead spot. So that brings you to the second option. You can just kill this in the fall or late summer, come back in the fall, put some good fescue in, and then you'll be good to go from there. Some people like that because it's a real quick, you know, one, two month process. And then it's usually gone. Sometimes it's, it's very resilient and may come back again, but usually we get very, very good control with that method. Uh, there's quite a bit up here as well. I'm sure you know where it all is. It browns out every winter. And then the other question for the property line is this section here. Uh, there is a mow line back there I think that's where this lawn goes to if you could just let me know does it go continuously straight across here or is that little square yours as well um, and then I'm gonna guess over here on this part 
it looks like maybe it comes straight from that electrical box down through here and it comes across um, again if that's not the case just let me know um, and does it meet you know, just a nice square corner back there or does it cut down through here <clears throat> seems like nobody's home today so we'll have to try to figure something out over the phone in this video so again we come over here with more Bermuda kind of the same story uh, nothing too outrageous and then we start getting more back into good fescue here or just better blends of grass at least different grasses but overall looks like we can help with this quite a bit and give you the most beautiful lawn we can hope for still haven't seen irrigation heads I'm I'm gonna go ahead and call it that I don't think there are any if I'm wrong again let me know um, we do okay through this little strip behind the driveway here or beside the driveway and then this this area kind of struggling again a lot of blue grasses in there some poan some just broad leaves. these are very very easy to manage um, we can get them under control the poas I explained that earlier we have to deal with those a little differently <clears throat> but yeah this overall I got a pretty good start um, here or you've already got a pretty decent program in place um, I believe this is something we could help you with um, yeah looks good it's a little little yellow up here it's just lawn's kind of hungry needs a little fertilization but uh, overall yeah I think we can do some or do a lot of good here help you out and let us know too how much you want to aggressively go after that back and side as it gets mixed we can we can hit it hard and and seed that whole thing for you this uh, this winter or this fall depending on how it looks or we can just kind of feed what's there and just try to hope that what's there out competes the rest and uh, can give you the desired lawn that you want so just let us know what you what you're feeling about it we'd love to help you out though it's Evan with Green Thumb, signing out.